Anyone remember the prehistoric days of Twitch when it was about gaming and gaming related things? Yeah, me neither. I personally absolutely love this new Twitch that we have been experiencing for a couple of years now. You know, where a woman are constantly in a competition who can undress the most while not getting banned for breaking the terms of service and when their audiences slowly start to dry off because well they don't have a personality and only a body they do a wardrobe malfunction and get a paid leave for a week and then return even stronger with more simps because you know that's how the game works you know these times when streamers promote gambling more than actually playing games when the main objective is to hook as many kids as possible to becoming addicted to gambling you know no seriously currently some of the most popular streams on twitch literally promote gambling to children that's amazing you know who cares about gaming and gaming related things when you can have gambling nudity and whatnot and today we have well, I wouldn't say this is an exactly new low, because this has happened before. This woman right here, this 10 out of 10 banger, obviously, she decided that she's gonna do the uh, classic bit, but fantastic. I'm gonna try to get fucked on the live stream. Oh, uh, yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. You know, something's happening, what's happening, God only knows, I, I can't even tell. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, she, she got, she got banned. How long? No idea. Probably does not matter. The fun part is, the fact that, this is not the first time, by the way, this has happened. This has happened multiple times. Before a time, there was, you know, before a couple of years, there was this neat little thing, uh, Cam Horse did. They came to Twitch, they streamed for like a day or two, being all extremely sexualized as possible, and then they pretended to turn off the stream, well, they pretended to forget to turn off the stream, and then they did what Cam Horse do the best, you know? They did that, and they tried to get famous and get more people to watch them like that. Now that was, now that was something. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was hilarious. And there were a bunch of them who actually tried to do this. But admittedly, again, this is nothing new for Twitch. If this is the way to move forward, if this is the way to become big, obviously people are gonna use this. If you... If you can exchange being banned for six, seven days, maybe even less, and getting double, triple, or in some cases, some women have even uh, got 10x their audience because of a, a clip going viral of them getting banned for ludity and nudity. Oh yes, you know, because let's face it, who are the only women that are successful at Twitch? <clears throat> Is it the ones who do good paintings? No. Is it the ones that play games good? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Absolutely obviously not. It's the ones who spend their time in pools and as as naked as possible. Those are the ones who win at the end of the day. So, can you actually blame this girl for doing something like this? She she's just doing what Twitch has forced her to do with this situation. She essentially has become a hoe for Twitch because, you know, that's Almost the only way to now get relevant if you're a woman on Twitch. Because that's your only competition. I think it's kind of funny. Uh, this one, when dudes try to do the same thing, uh, he is currently trying to su suck his big pinky, if you know what I mean. It is absolutely amazing. People are outraged. People are, you know, having a good time. People are asking, obviously, as anyone who watches Twitch, everyone wants to know the sauce for the video. And if you leave a like, I will give you the sauce for the video, because she goes much more further. So like and comment, and I will give you the sauce for this absolute, well, this one, not this one, this absolute shabazzle of a gamer performance. Ah, yes. Absolutely amazing. You have to admire them. Oh, yes, one more. Again, I think this was, was a fake or something like that, because, yeah, uh, she's not getting a back rub, if you know what I mean. She, she is getting a little bit more than she bargained for, honestly. 
but that's completely normal. There have been loads of situations where uh, girls fake turning off their stream and then get undressed and whatnot because it works. Because it absolutely 100% works. No idea what the hell is that. No idea what the hell is this. Ah, funny memes. Funny memes. That's actually pretty insane. I think that's real? No, can it be real? There's there's not a lot of uh, air going towards him. I think he would have been already off. Those things go like 300 miles an hour or something. So yeah, anyway, I think it's hilarious. I think this is exactly what tw uh, Twitch deserves. I think this is exactly what Twitch wants to do. Can you even blame her for trying? I personally honestly can't. The days of gaming on Twitch are over. Now it's all about, well, degenerate shit. So, you know, enjoy it. Because that's all the only thing you're gonna get.